Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs. This is Ron's Big Shop Breakdown. We're going to go over four college basketball games for Friday, January 26, 2024. Now if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comment section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my college basketball bank shop best bet, you can find those at the premium picks tab at pickdogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Friday in College Hoops. First up, we see Marist and Niagara. This one's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be on ESPNU. You know, Marist, really concerning performance last time out against Siena. It was only a two-point victory for the Red Foxes in that game. And, you know, but you can't really say too much because Niagara, on the other side, they also they lost outright to Siena not too long ago. So both of these teams struggling against probably the weakest team in the conference and one of the weakest teams in college basketball. But in this matchup, I still think Niagara, despite that loss to Siena, is the better team, and I think they're in better form. You know, they've won six of the last seven games, five and three conference record. I trust the Niagara defense to get better as the season continues. You know, right now it's ranked 337th in adjusted defensive efficiency, but shot quality wise, Niagara's actually got a pretty good defense. They're strong on the defensive glass, which is important. So I think we see the defense continue to improve. Niagara does take quite a few tough shots, but they're the third best three point shooting team in the country right now. So they're making them at a really good rate. I do think we're going to see some regression, obviously, for their offense as the season continues, but they're scoring a lot of points per game in conference play. And I don't really trust this Marist offense on the road to keep up for 40 minutes. This is not a great shooting team. They turn the ball over quite a bit. They're not strong on the offensive glass. They don't really do a good job of getting to the free throw line. So I like Niagara in this one. I'm going to take Niagara, the Purple Eagles, and lay the points. Next up, we see Michigan State and Wisconsin. This one, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be on Fox Sports 1, probably the game of the night for Friday. Small card. Now, in this matchup, you know, Michigan State, give them credit. They went on the road and they beat Maryland last time out, but still was only a two-point victory against a team that has struggled this season in Maryland. Team that had, you know, pretty good expectations, but has not really delivered on those expectations at all times with a losing record in conference play. Now, you know, back-to-back -back road games, really tough to win in, in a conference like the Big Ten, especially when that second road game is against a team like Wisconsin. This is a really strong Wisconsin team, very balanced team, top 50 in both offense and defensive efficiency. They're a really strong rebounding team. They take care of the basketball. And Wisconsin's in good form. You know, they had a little bit of issues in that last game against Minnesota. They still won the game outright, and it was a road game. They return home here. They are very tough to beat at home. And I'm still not 100% uh, in love with backing Michigan State on the road. Yes, they, you know, they took down Maryland, but before that, they lost to Illinois. They lost to Northwestern by, in a blowout fashion. In non-conference play, we saw them struggle a bit in neutral site games. They also have the road loss to Nebraska by seven. So I'm going to take Wisconsin in this game. Should be a great game. Probably, you know, like I said, game of the night. But I'm going to go with Wisconsin here and lay the points. Next up, we see Utah Valley and Seattle. This one's going to be a 9 p.m. Eastern start time. It's going to be on ESPNU. Seattle is very tough to beat at home. They've been very competitive at home this season. I mean, they're coming off an upset win over Grand Canyon in their last game. They beat Louisiana Tech at home earlier in the season, another top 100 victory. And they only lost by one point in double overtime against Washington, a Pac-12 team that covered the number in that one, 199. And, you know, it, it, like I said, it's tough to beat Seattle at home. But I think Utah Valley is undervalued. And I think, honestly, they match up pretty well in this game. These are two pretty similar teams when you look at the numbers on paper. Both teams pretty strong on the defensive glass. Both teams look to force turnovers. But Utah Valley, honestly, does a better job at taking care of the basketball. Both teams looking to get to the free throw line. Again, Utah Valley does a better job at doing so. Utah Valley's struggles offensively have just been their shooting. You know, they're, they're creating pretty good looks, but they're 361st in three-point shooting as a team. Now, those numbers are starting to improve. We saw in their last game against Utah Tech where we laid the points with the Wolverines in that game. Utah Valley shot 7-16 from three. It's 44%, and they were 68% from the free throw line. So, you know, some slight improvements going on for this Utah Valley offense. We know the defense is already strong. I think we're going to see a very competitive defense-first battle in this game. I think points are going to be at a premium in this one, and I'm going to take the points here with Utah Valley. I honestly wouldn't be shocked to see them win the game outright. You know, this is a letdown spot for Seattle after beating Grand Canyon, the best team in the conference by far. Give me the points here with Utah Valley. And the final game we're going to talk about for the Friday card in college basketball, it's going to be Stanford and Cal. This one, 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1. These are two teams that I think are underrated. I think they're both better than their current records. And, you know, I do think we're going to find value on both of these teams as we continue conference play. We've already had a few spots with these teams, uh, like Stanford against Arizona when they won that game outright as a big-time underdog. Cal, we've taken plenty of times this year. The beginning of the season didn't fare too well. 
but in more recent games, we've done very well with them against the spread. And in this matchup, I like the home team. I think Cal is still the better team, shot quality-wise especially. I really like the fact that Cal will be, is the better rebounding team in this one. While Stanford's a strong defensive rebounding team, they're not great on the offensive glass. I think that's where Cal really has a big advantage in this ball game. Should be a competitive game, but at a solid price, I'm going to go with the Cal Bears here at home. And that's it. Those are the games for Friday in college basketball. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick the Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.